from San Francisco, California. This is the Rock and Roll Geek Show. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name is Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is Saturday, December 28th, 2019. Pardon the noise. I'm in Douglas City, California. Up in the mountain house. It is 12.56 p.m. Uh, last time I talked to you, I was sitting on the, sitting on the hill uh, with my <clears throat> 22 rifle, hoping that I would see a squirrel, squirrel hunting. We've been walking the dogs uh, way down the road into the woods. Hold on, I'm walking up the top of a hill here <clears throat> behind my house. So we've been walking the dogs every day way down the road into the woods and I've been carrying the 22 trying to do a little squirrel hunting every day I've been bringing the rifle saw a squirrel yesterday the dogs chased it into the woods I could not find the tree that it was in went again yesterday afternoon did not see a squirrel I think last time I talked to you I said I saw one run up a tree and I was hoping I would see it Today we went walking the dogs again in the same area. Uh, one of our puppies cut his one of his pads on his paw, so we so they ha- so they wanted to turn back. And I said, "Well, you guys take him back. I'm going to walk in the woods a little bit farther." And I walked all the way in. <clears throat> I'm panting because I'm walking up the hill here up a game trail. I think I'm going to stop here and rest. Let me sit against the tree. <clears throat> I'm holding my rifle with me, my 22 Czechoslovak Czech-made CZ long 22 long rifle. So they headed back, and I continued walking. Saw a few cars. People were either in the woods hunting or fishing. My guess is fishing because it's a Saturday, and there's nothing open except squirrel quail and bear and I walked all the way down went up into the woods up on the hill looking for squirrel didn't see anything so I started walking back walking 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 see a squirrel run across the street or uh, the not really a street just a gravel road and I stopped looked he climbed up a tree creeped up to the tree, pulled off my glasses, loaded up a bullet, got him in my sights, bang, one bullet, clean headshot, down went the squirrel. (sighs) Immediately, he went into the, he fell straight into the into the brush like a briar patch and it was kind of like neck high I said uh oh I hope I don't lose that thing so I walk I just dove into the wood into the brush and there it was and I got it I'm happy that I got the squirrel I'm also a little bit sad this is actually the first mammal that I've really killed yeah, I know, I'm not much of a hunter, but I did kill a squirrel, and mixed emotions are going through my head. You know, on one hand, I'm really happy that, I'm, that I was successful in, in getting a squirrel. It was a big squirrel, too. I think this fucking thing's huge. I will post, I will post a picture of it on the Instagram. Oh, should I post it on the Instagram? Probably not. I'll put it on the show notes at rockandrollgeek.com. It's big, <clears throat> and it was a male which is what you would prefer to shoot if it's a male. Like I said, on one hand, I'm happy I got a squirrel, and I got some meat. I'm gonna, I've heard, I mean, the guy, I was walking yesterday, and, and this, a fuel guy was going all the way to the back because there's a, there's a property way at the end of the road in the woods, and he was uh, going back there to fill somebody's propane tanks, and he said, what are you doing with the rifle? 
I said, oh, I'm going to shoot some squirrel if I see any. He goes, oh, a lot of people don't know squirrel's good eating. And I said, yeah, so I've heard. And so um, I'm going to eat the squirrel. I cleaned it, processed it. My wife was ecstatic when I brought that thing home because she wants the tail. She's, she's a lot more cut out. For, she's a lot more natural with this than me. I'm, I'm a newbie. And uh, so the first mammal, you know, I guess you want to be sad. I'm definitely sad for the squirrel. And I'm going to honor it by eating every bit of it. And all you experienced hunters out there, feel free to send me an email, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com, with the subject line, Butler, you are a fucking pussy. What kind of a wuss is sad about killing a little squirrel? Put that in the subject line, all right? Rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. So, all in all, I had my first successful hunt while I was out here. And when I was... Uh, <clears throat> So the reason I'm walking up the hill here is uh, Brian was going up because there's a stream supposedly up here and um, it's a water supply and a lot of people, the people who lived in this property before had, had a pipe running up to the stream and they were using it as their water supply so we're trying to find it and Brian was up there looking while I was out hunting and he said he saw a squirrel up here. So I'm going to walk up here, I cleaned the squirrel, I have the head and uh, the guts in this bag. And I'm gonna go all the way to the top by a game show and I'm gonna dump the head so that you know, an animal can eat the remains, the, what's left of the squirrel that, I, that I'm not gonna eat. I heard you're not supposed to eat squirrel brains. Somebody sent me a text and said it causes mad cow disease. I don't know. But I'm gonna use it to feed the rest of the wildlife. So I'm walking up the hill as soon as I close this. And I got the rifle. We'll see if I get another squirrel. If not, I got one. Brian's heading back tomorrow. I'm going to make the squirrel for my wife and I for dinner tomorrow. It's quite, quite plenty for two people. You know, you probably need yeah, one, one decent sized squirrel for two people. It's a fucking big squirrel. I mean, it weighs at least two pounds. But it's beautiful fur. I will post, like I said, post a picture at rockandrollgeek.com. Thank you for listening, friends. I'll talk to you soon. That concludes this episode of Squirrel Hunting with Butler. <sighs> Thank you, Squirrel, for dying for me and my wife. And I will use every bit of you for good, friend. Well, you're clearly not a friend or I wouldn't have killed you, but you get the drift. Thank you for listening, friends. I spun the iTunes wheel. And what came up was a song by, recorded by Faster Pussycat, a cover of a Scorpions tune. I've never heard this version, but it came up on, when I spun the wheel. So that's what I'm going to play for you. Love Drive, originally by Scorpions, done by Faster Pussycat. Thank you for listening. Rockandrollgeek.com is where you'll find the picture of the squirrel. You can find me on the Facebook, r and Geek. You can find me on the Twitter, r and Geek. Find me on the Instagram, Rock and Roll Geek. Don't ask. If I get another squirrel, I'll host an update. Thank you for listening. Here's Faster Pussycat. <clears throat> Excuse me, Faster Pussycat. <laughs>
It's a rock and roll geek train wreck. <laughs>